13 years since 12-year-old Stephen Kraft Jr. disappeared. The case went cold, but police and family aren't giving up. WSBT's James Fillmore is at the live desk, and James' investigators are asking for the community's help again. Yes, Cindy, the leads in the case have started to dwindle, so police want people to think back to February 15, 2001, and call them if they have any information about Kraft's disappearance. This is what he might look like today. He would be 25. The chief of police for the Benton Township Police Department says no matter how insignificant you might think a piece of information is, it could be the detail that helps tie up loose ends. Back in 2001, Kraft was last seen near his home in Benton Township walking his two dogs. The dogs were found, but he was not. Investigators continue to use new technology and work with outside agencies, but they insist the best help comes from community tips. Kraft's older sister Jody says every year on his birthday they make a chocolate cake with the hope that he will be there for the next one. She has a direct message for her brother. Stephen, I need you to be brave today. I need you to reach out to us. Please, if you can get to a phone for even a few moments, call 911, say your name, even if you do not know where you are. We will find you, I promise. If you have any information regarding the Stephen Crabb Jr. case, you can call the Benton Township Police Department or you can also call Crime Stoppers. Reporting from the live desk, I'm James Fillmore, WSBT Channel 22 News. James Hightower says he will not step down and that he